your finger on number 16. You're going to write the following sentence on the lines. Listen. The moon revolves around the earth. Listen again. The moon revolves around the earth. Say that sentence with me. The moon revolves around the earth. Your turn. Say the sentence. Yes, the moon revolves around the earth. Write that sentence on your paper on number 16. Don't forget what you need at the beginning and the end of that sentence. Pause the video when you're ready to check it. Press play. Okay, so let's check your sentence. Capital T for the beginning of our sentence. The moon revolves around the earth. Period at the end of our sentence. Okay, go so check your work. Now, something new today. So when you're ready, put your pencil down. Ears are listening. Eyes are watching. All right, echo these words and listen for something that is the same in each of them. Pre-cook, pre-mix, pre-heat. What is the like in each of those words? Yes, we hear pre. All right, let's look at those words and what is making that sound pre. So an underpass is a place where you go below the road. So 
it's like a road up here and you go below it. All right, now, here's another set. Overfeed, overpay, overpass. What is the prefix in these? Over, because if we cover it up, we have feed, pay, and pass. It's the same root words. So what do you think over may mean? Too much, or beyond, or above. So overfeed means you feed it too much. Overpay means you paid too much. And an overpass is when you go on top or above. That's right. Very good. All right. Now, under and over are two more prefixes. So we have over, under, and three today. Now, we code prefixes the same way we do suffixes. How is that? We box them. After we box them, we make sure we have a root word left, and then we can code the root word. All right, so let's see what we can do with these. So in pre-cook, pre-mix, pre-heat, what is our prefix? It is pre. So let's box it. Now we can go back and code what we have left of the word. So we have cook left. How do I code it? Okay, back on the C. Diagraph OO, pre-cook. How do I code mix? Short vowel, mix, pre-mix. And heat and pre-heat. The long E. E A. All right, under feed, under pay, under pass. How do we code the prefix? Box it. Now we can code what's left. So feed, how will we code it? Diagraph E E. Pay, diagraph A-Y, and pass, short vowel. Right, overfeed, overpay, overpass, same thing. Box over, because it is our prefix, and then we can code the rest of the word. So feed, diagraph EE, -E, pay, diagraph AY, and pass, short vowel. Alright, now, when we go over every day, we review our letters, we call a suffix and a prefix, affixes. Affixes are what you add to a root word. So a prefix and a suffix are both considered affixes. What are they? Affixes, that's right. Which one do you add to the beginning of a word? A prefix. What's added to the end of a root word? A suffix and they change the meaning of the word. They're used to change the meaning of a word. That's right. Alright, so let's look at your new cards. Alright, your first card today. Prefix pre means before. Pre-K 
kindergarten means before kindergarten. Pre means before. Under. Prefix under means not enough or below. If it's under fan, not enough food. Okay, or it can mean below. Prefix over. Prefix over can mean too much or it can mean above. So if you overpay, you pay too much. All right, let's practice spelling using our new prefixes. Number one. Oversleep. Oversleep. I don't want to oversleep on Saturday. Oversleep. All right, what is your prefix? Over. Root word, sleep, over sleep. Sound out each part. Spell it on number one, over sleep. Let's spell oversleep. Get ready. O V E R S L E E P. Oversleep. It means to sleep too much. Oversleep. Oversleep. Number two. Prefix. Prefix. We learned a new prefix today. Prefix. Tell me the sounds in prefix. First thing the suffix is pre. The root word is fix. Prefix. You can sound that one out easily. P -r e fix. Prefix. Write it on number two. Spell prefix, P-R-E-F-I-X, prefix, prefix. Number three, number three, underfed, underfed. I saw a puppy on the side of the road that looked underfed underfed what is the prefix under and the root word fed underfed not fed enough too little food sound it out and spell it on number three underfed Spell it. U N D E R F E D. Underfed. Underfed. All right, at the bottom part, you need to read those words to someone at home, a study buddy, and spell them out loud as practice. You have room for three sentences today that you can practice using your words at the bottom. 
All right, when you're ready, turn it over to your practice side. Let's practice together. Prefixes. Prefixes over, pre, and under. All right, let's look at number one. Now we see suffix, excuse me, prefix pre. So box it. Now right, when you cover it up. We still have a word. All right, I see I consonant E, so we do have a long vowel sound there. I also see two vowels. We've got vowel, consonant, vowel there. All right, our rule tells us to, to, to divide after the vowel normally. So let's try to divide there. Okay, we've got our vowel that is open. The macron. Macron's there. So we have pre D see a project. Oversee. Number three. Prefix pre. Box it. Alright, we have E, E. Before a teenager, you are a preteen. So before it, preteen. All right. Next one. We have under prefix under. All right. Do you see any obvious coding we can do? W followed by A. So it's going to have the AH sound. Alright, we also have two vowels. So vowel, consonant, vowel. Divide after your vowel. We have 
O-U. We've got to figure out which sound of O-U we have. Let's try the diphthong first, then we'll try the digraph. So, ground, ground. Does that make sense? So it is the diphthong. So we put an arc. Under, ground. The rabbit has a home underground. Number six, prefix over. Look carefully. We also have what? A suffix. We cover up both what's in the middle. We've got a root word look, right? So we have a prefix and a suffix in this word. Over, looking, overlooking. All right, let's read. If people overfeed their pets, the pets might become too heavy. If the pets are underfed, they might become too thin. In both cases, the pets will not be healthy. Number seven, what causes pets to become too heavy? Candy, overfeeding them too much water. Underline where you find your answer and bubble it. We already know if people overfeed their pets, they will become too heavy. It also says if they are underfed, they might become too thin. So what can keep pets from being healthy? Being overfed. Overfeed instead of overfed. Excuse me, guys. Overfed or underfed. Had too many E's in there. Made my E's long. False. So based on what we've read, 
and what we already know we're going to infer. Should pets be fed just the right amount? Yes, they should. It says you don't need to feed them too much and you don't need to feed them too little. Too much or too little is unhealthy. You need to feed them just the right amount. All right, so we will agree with them. True. We're inferring from that. On the back, you are going to practice coding the words, looking for those prefixes. Look, you may have a suffix. Make sure when you get through that you have the root word left before you code. All right, also read carefully and answer the questions. If you would like to upload it for me to check it, you can do that. Make sure you study your spelling words. You will get a new decodable tomorrow. So you can practice your decodable about the moth and the butterfly again today if you would like to. All right, do your very best work.